I would. I would if I could, but it just so happens I have this one single buck to my name. This has been a day from hell, completely from hell. You're complaining? Look at me! I just got fired from a job as a ladies' room attendant. You're cleaning bathrooms? Just the one. Ladies' room. I was attending, actually. Where? It's, I, yeah, I really don't want no, to talk really, about it. No, Carly. The Mona Lisa. Lisa made you clean her bathrooms? Yeah. And that's not the worst of it. The worst of it is that Jack saw me there. Well, so what? Andy saw me it's here. It's the most humiliating really moment scared, of my Carly. entire life. Yeah, well, try meeting your guy when you're in prison. I want to just brush my head right down one of those over. toilets. It's going to be over. I'll join I'm really the club. scared it's going to be over. I got to get. I got to talk to him. I got to talk to him before it's too late. Well, I hate to break it to you, but I have bigger problems than yours and St. Andy's. I have to convince him that I want him, not Reed. I'm homeless. The idea of just losing a man is like a walk in the park to me right now. I don't care. Look, you owe me, Carly. Me, 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 me. That's all you ever think of. Well, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. I was trying to help you. So I don't care if you're penniless. You're not in jail, so do something. All right. All right, just let me think about it for a second. Well, think hard, because I gotta get home tonight. Okay, so if I do get you out of here, then you have to promise me that you're going to give me a big chunk of your rainy day stash because I need it. I need money. I need a place to stay and I need money for legal fees. What stash? Well, the stuff you've saved. Molly, you have heard of a savings account, haven't you? Don't lecture me, miss. I want a Learjet to match the color of my shoes. Well, I had the money then. Yeah, well, now you're asking me to cover your rent, which I can do if you get me out of here. I just need to fix things with Andy. And how exactly do you think you're going to do that? Um, beg? Cry, grovel, unless you have a better idea. Maybe. Maybe if he saw you really pathetic and sad and desperate. He saw me here. How much worse do you want it? Wait. Oh, officer. started. You're a cop? Office staff, actually. But I was around here long enough to learn that, that sometimes when people get locked up, they, they get in bad shape. You know, they need somebody to sort of bend the rules for them just a little bit. Like my cousin Molly here. She was arrested after a terrible ordeal. Oh, maybe you even heard about her brave rescue of the Snyder baby? No. Well, needless to say, it was very traumatic. And now here she is, suffering from fatigue and maybe even malnutrition. If she needs a doctor, I'll get one. Oh, wait. No, um, that's not exactly going to help. Look, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I, I'm not asking you to let Molly run around free. She just needs a little time and an atmosphere where she can explain things to her honey. See, I knew that you were sensitive the moment I saw those big, beautiful blue eyes. <laughs> so here's the deal. If Molly gets to the ER somehow, then her boyfriend will come running. You want me to send her to the hospital without a doctor's exam here? Just for a few minutes. They'd kick me to the curb. Oh. <laughs> you don't really know who I am, do you? just so happens that I'm well off. Very well off. And so if you see to it that Molly does get to the ER and that her fiancé finds out about it, well, I'll reward you. <laughs> and did I happen to mention how generous I am? Generous to a fault. You're going to pay me to take her to the hospital? Oh, well, you're so darn cute. Not only will I pay you, I'll take you out for cocktails afterward. <laughs> All I have to do is one favor. I will make it totally worth your while.
You're the best. <laughs> you are an absolute angel. You really are. Just the <laughs> sweetest, swellest guy ever. What? You're under <laughs> arrest for attempting to bribe a police officer. You can't do you this have the to right me. to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Do you understand? Shut up. I'll take that as a yes. You have the right to speak to an attorney before answering any questions. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed for you. Do you understand these rights? Yes, I've... yes, I understand perfectly. Mm. Well, I sure hope you're satisfied.